How's it going my friends? Back with another video today and I just wanted to chime in real quick make a just a real short video on something that for the last couple weeks I've actually got a lot of questions on which I was actually pretty uh, surprised um, that I didn't talk about this before because as you guys know I talk a lot about shooting with the Z6 in black and white. That's what I do. I shoot all my jobs in monochrome. Um, I do shoot 99% of the wedding. The only thing that I shoot that's not in monochrome is uh, the dance floor photos. So I've been getting a lot of questions on how do you actually set up the Z6 for it. Now this obviously isn't going to be like a very advanced if you guys have been using the Z6 for a long time. You already know the menus. You probably already know how to do this. But one thing that I really want to get across to you because I know even a lot of us professional guys, the people who just like really know gear, um, and especially people like me, I don't really like to get too technical with the things, which you know I'm not really proud of. I wish honestly I knew more things about all my gear. I just tend to pick things up and then just go and, and I like to shoot. Um, but one thing I do is I read the manuals and I really, really would advise everybody just to read the manual. Please do that because honestly, it's gonna help you guys out so much understanding what this thing can do and understanding all the focus modes, what they're supposed to be used for, just all the different dials and bells and whistles and all those things. Obviously, yes, you know, we know what manual, aperture priority, shutter uh, priority, all the priority modes and ISO and things like that. Those are pretty easy to figure out, but there's a lot of other in depth things that these cameras can do and what their specific modes are used for that you're not going to be able to learn unless you actually open up the manual. So I'm going to show you guys how to set this up in uh, monochrome so you guys can see black and white. Um, you know, when you're chimping, you're looking at your photos, everything's going to be black and white on, this, on the uh, EVF inside the actual viewfinder and then on the back screen also it's going to be in black and white. Now if you guys shoot in RAW and you're not in shooting in JPEGs, these are non-destruct, the uh, black and white is non-destructive, meaning that when you upload your RAW files into Lightroom or Capture One, however you do it, they're still going to be in color. It's going to have all the original information. Um, this just overlays like a black and white basically overlay. I don't know exactly how the file works, but basically gives you a preview in black and white. So you can just kind of see the reason why I do it. I've made videos about this, but I can see the definition of light and shadows and I'm looking at light way better and more, um, I'm more dialed into my light and my shadows as opposed to if I was shooting in color, because then there's another layer of information there that's kind of distracting me away from the most important thing, which is, you know, the light and shadows. So um, I'm going to show you guys, I'm going to flip this over and then show you guys how I set it up. And I also do set this up in the info menu so it's a little bit easier to access if I need to switch it for the dance floor to color. So follow me over guys and I'm going to show you how it's done. Okay guys, so here we are. Here is my camera. Let me focus this. I'm holding it out on the screen, so hopefully this is good. All right, so basically what I'm gonna show you guys is how to set it up in this info button right here. This is how I set it up. So basically once I push it, I have all my quick menus, things that I wanna select, and I just have it set up to the very first one right here, which is my picture control. So basically it's on monochrome, but you have all these different types of settings. You have standard, neutral, vivid, and monochrome. So this is what I have it set to. Basically when I'm shooting, right on my info button, I can select it very quickly. So what you wanna do is go into menu, okay? And then you wanna go down to this little pencil right here and then go over to controls. And then at the very top, the first one, customize eye menu right there. And then you can customize each one of these for whichever one you want. Like I said, I have the first one set. So it'll give you, if you just select that, it'll give you all the things that you can put in that place. So if I want to put white balance there, all, all of a sudden white balance goes. This one right here, I want to set to set picture control though. So then it's already set. So then once I go back, I hit I right here my picture control is right there. So if I want to switch it to standard, boom. If I want to go back to monochrome, boom. And that'll set it in the viewfinder and in the back screen. So that's it guys, hopefully this was easy. Let me know what you think, later.